I'm Brett Cast. It's Sunday, December 19th. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A Detroit teenager is in critical condition after an accidental shooting on the city's west side. It happened Saturday afternoon on Salem Street, just south of Grand River Avenue. Police say two teenage boys were mishandling the gun when it discharged. One of the boys reportedly suffered gunshot wounds to his arm and torso. It's unclear whether the owner of the gun will be arrested or face charges. A school employee in St. Clair Shores is behind bars for allegedly making false threats against their school. We're told the incident happened at Jefferson Middle School near Little Mac Avenue and 11 Mile Road Friday morning. School officials say multiple inappropriate handwritten notes were left at three different teacher work areas. Investigators say the notes contained false threats in an effort to close the school. Surveillance cameras were used to identify the suspect. We're told in addition to being in custody, the employee is now on administrative leave. The state's largest three universities are now requiring students, faculty and staff to get the COVID-19 booster before next semester starts. These mandates come as concerns increase over the faster spreading Omicron variant. Both U of M and MSU report having at least one known case of Omicron each and no known cases at Wayne State. But starting January 3rd, students there must receive and upload proof of their booster as soon as they're eligible. That's according to the school's chief health officer. And if they fail to comply, the university said they're not allowed on campus. Decreasing clouds today, a high 33, light wind this afternoon. Tomorrow's a high of 40, but it is also going to be breezy. And uh, wind chills could be around 10 degrees Tuesday morning. Highs in the mid to lower 30s Tuesday and Wednesday, the coldest days of the week. And then we're back up to 40 degrees for Christmas Eve with a chance of rain into Christmas morning. Christmas Day, a high of 46.